John 1.28 and John 3.26. And yet your holiness in the fields of education, health, commerce, tourism. As a Muslim, I bid your holiness welcome today as we understand this visit to be a deliberate gesture of goodwill and mutual respect from the supreme spiritual leader and pontiff of the largest denomination of the world's largest religion to the world's second largest religion. Christians and Muslims make up over 55% of the world's population. And I must also thank your holiness for the regret you expressed after the Regensburg lecture of September the 13th, 2006, for the hurt caused by this lecture to Muslims. Ladies and gentlemen, that human reason is itself gift and that it soars to its height. Certainly, the contradiction of tensions and divisions between the followers of different religious traditions, sadly, cannot be denied. However, is it not also the case that often it is the ideological manipulation of religion, sometimes for political ends, that is a real catalyst for tension and division, and at times even violence in society. يقوم قداسة الحبر الأعظم البابا بنديكتوس السادس عشر. Très Saint Père, béni soit celui qui vient au nom du Seigneur, Benedictus, Benoît notre Pape. Ceux qui accompagnèrent l'apôtre Saint Paul dans sa... I thank for his kind words of welcome. The church herself is a pilgrim people, and thus, through the centuries, has been marked by determined historical events and pervading cultural epochs. Sadly, some of these have included times of theological dispute or periods of repression. Others, however, have been moments of reconciliation marvelously strengthening the communion of the church and times of rich cultural revival to which Eastern Christians have contributed so greatly, according to popular record, to bring others to know. And just as 2,000 years ago, it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians, so also today, as small minorities and scattered communities across these lands, you too are recognized as followers of the Lord. Amen. 